Imagine watching Netflix on a massive 300 inch screen or playing God of War like never before. Open multiple big displays like watching YouTube, browsing Reddit, write notes all at the same time. This is not Apple Vision Pro. This is Rocket AR Spatial Pack. This is a wearable cinema and a multitasking machine that's lighter than your phone and smarter than you'd expect at one fifth of the price of Apple Vision Pro. As always, let's begin with the unboxing. First, we have Rocket Max 2 that has all the optics to do the magic. Opening the box, we get the case that has the glasses inside, user manual, USB Type-C cable for connection, nose pad, cleaning cloth, and Rocket stickers. Next, we have Rocket Station 2. This is where all the magic happens. It's not only your remote control, but also it's your software. It's got 8 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 chip, 128 GB of storage, Storage, powered by Android ecosystem and 18 watt fast charging along with 5000 mAh battery. And then we also have Rocket Hub. This allows you to connect any USB-C device to the glasses and mirror the screen instantly with no hassle. All right, first let's take a look at the design of the Rocket Max 2. These glasses weigh just 75 grams, making them one of the lightest AR wearables that I've personally tested. Right from the get-go, I will say they are way more comfortable than the original Rocket Max thanks to the refined silver frame, soft temple arms, and air cushioned nose pads. I can wear them for a full movie without feeling the fatigue and that's actually kind of rare for AR headset. And something that I really love, which I think is a game changer for someone who wears glasses, is that this one has built-in diopter adjustment, which goes from zero to minus six numbers. So that means you can adjust this accordingly to your your eyesight number, meaning no need to spend extra money to have eyesight adjustment. This just works right out of the box. And guess what? If you're a user who needs more, you can always get custom lens inserted. Now, what about the visuals? Well, the Max 2 features dual 1080p micro OLED displays running at 120 hertz refresh rate around 600 nits of brightness for the price it's actually a pretty good combo of smoothness and keeping the picture surprisingly sharp and cinematic being able to watch netflix on this big massive virtual screen is really an amazing experience it pretty much supports all the streaming app service in the world from youtube to disney plus amazon prime apple tv you name it now as i said before it has USB-C connection so you can connect pretty much any of the USB-C devices like your gaming handheld or your phone or most importantly connecting Rocket Station 2. This is where all the magic happens. With Rocket Station 2, you get a full-on optimized UI that has multi-screen productivity. One of the best features of this whole experience is that you can run up to three apps at once with adjustable window sizes. Use the capacitive touch controls to adjust everything and it's all done really well. For example, I can watch YouTube video, browse Reddit, and take notes with my phone connected at the same time, mirrored in a separate window, while all the other stuff is open as well. This is actually kind of insane. It all works very seamlessly thanks to the Rocket Station 2. Again, it's got its own software UI that looks pretty clean. There are three ways to interact with this depending on your preference. There's a lot of built-in stuff to play with, including the built-in spatial apps that works really well. Plus, you have full access to Google Play Store, so you can download any app and open them in multiple windows. The possibility is truly endless. I'm even able to do proper console gaming on this thanks to the Steam Link app that I can get from the Play Store, then wirelessly pair the glasses to my PC, play God of War or any game I want and it's totally playable. If you have any of the latest gaming handles, you can also connect directly via USB-C. That also works well. For my usage scenario, being able to watch media like Netflix, YouTube on big screen, do proper multi-screen productivity as well as do gaming, I'm actually surprised how well this thing does in these use case scenarios for its price. There's also some cool software mode for different scenarios such as sports mode that shifts your screen while in motion, which is kind of ideal for car rides or planes or buses. You also get reading mode for eBooks. Like I'm genuinely surprised how this thing is able to give almost the core experience of Apple Vision Pro at one fifth of the price. Like sure, it's not as powerful as Apple Vision Pro, but at the same time, it's not huge, heavy and expensive. It's lighter, smaller and kind of more practical. 
Compared to all the other AR glasses on the market, if you're looking for an AR setup that's actually useful for not only just for entertainment and gaming, but also to enhance productivity thanks to the multi-screen usage, as well as having a decent performance and software ecosystem to back things up, then this could be a very good setup without breaking the bank. By the way, in case you don't know, this company Rocket was founded in 2014 and they first mass produced their consumer AR glasses in 2020, meaning they've been in this game for quite some time. And this Rocket AR Special is actually their third generation product, which even got showcased at CES earlier this year. They're aiming to build their own ecosystem and lead the AR industry. Be sure to check out my special link in the description below if you wanna learn more and let me know what feature has been the most exciting for you? Drop a comment, subscribe if you're new here. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.